Hello and welcome to Oregon News, I'm Sean Meadow. These two soccer fields behind me have been taken over by construction, leaving students just half the space they used to have to play. The Oregon women's rugby team takes on Washington State this weekend at home at Riverfront Field on the way to Autzen Stadium. Reporting for Oregon News, I'm Sean Meadow. Oregon women's basketball season is winding down and the Ducks are now ranked number six in the nation after losses to number 12 Oregon State and unranked UCLA. Ruthie Hebert went down with a knee injury in Oregon's loss at Oregon State and missed the loss to UCLA, but the junior forward returned to help the Ducks win over USC. In that game, junior guard Sabrina Ionescu recorded her NCAA 17th career triple-double. The Ducks travel to the Arizona schools next weekend before heading to Las Vegas for the Pac-12 tournament. Hey, I'm Sean Meadow with the Daily Emerald and this is Caught Up Sports. We'll start with Oregon softball. The Ducks beat number one UCLA on Friday behind 12 strikeouts by sophomore Jordan Dale before the Bruins rebounded with back-to-back -back wins to win the series. The Ducks will host Cal in a three-game series this weekend at Jane Sanders Stadium. Highlighted by a 21-3 win on Friday, Oregon baseball won its series 2-1 at Washington State and will host number two Stanford at PK Park this upcoming weekend after a game at Gonzaga on Monday. The Oregon women's basketball team capped off another weekend with a sweep of the Washington schools for the second time this season. Oregon's 79-64 win over Washington State was the Satu Sabali show as the German international buried eight three-pointers in a career-high 33-point performance. On Sunday, Aaron Boley scored an Oregon single-game high nine three-pointers in Oregon's 76-57 win over Washington. The Ducks return home to play the Mountain Schools next weekend. Oregon men's basketball lost another heartbreaker at home on Thursday to Washington, which won the game from the free throw line with under two seconds left after Peyton Pritchard fouled on a Husky three-point attempt with the game tied. The Ducks play Washington State at Matthew Knight Arena following the filming of this episode as Oregon looks to bounce back from the loss. There's been more drama with the Oregon softball team as Alexis Mack and Mia Camuso joined Maggie Ballant to total nine players leaving the program before the start of the 2019 season. You can read about all these stories, sports, and more at DailyEmerald.com or pick up a copy of The Emerald on newsstands. I'm Sean Meadow. Thanks for watching. The art of ballet is not generally associated with men. Traditional gender stereotypes can deter men from dancing. University of Oregon senior Alex Stewart dealt with that stereotype firsthand. I found it interesting, I think the females growing up picked on me a little bit more. They made fun of me more than the dudes. Dudes didn't really care, uh, but girls definitely were the ones that thought it was uh, more fem feminine to do ballet. Margaret Gibson has known Stewart since they were both dancers at the age of seven. Gibson says she has seen boys and men quit because of the negative stereotypes for male ballerinas. There's definitely this horrible stigma that if you do ballet as a man, you're gay. Um, and then that leads to a lot of bullying outside of the studio. Stewart didn't start his college career at Oregon. He had a scholarship in New York to dance, but he broke his shin bone after a year, quit, and eventually enrolled at Oregon. That was really hard, but I think it was a nice little wake-up call being like, you know what, like, I, it ran, my, I ran my course in dance, um, I did as much as I wanted to do, and now it, it was time to focus on something different. Stewart dances weekly at the university, attending ballet classes. He is currently studying general science and looking into pre-med, which he hopes can lead to a career as a physical therapist for dancers. Sean Meadow, Oregon News.